Hi, students. Let's look at this question here, which is on graphing techniques as well. So on the same axis, to the sketch of graph y squared equals to negative 3x, and y goes along x plus 1.5, given give the equations of the asymptotes and the exact coordinates of the points where the curve crosses the axis. Either axis. Okay. And solve. Okay, we just draw the graph first. I think this, this graph, just take note, that uh, when you open up square root, is a plus minus okay it's a parabola um i believe it was taken out from the o level syllabus but i think it's okay to understand that this graph if you key in you should be have a plus minus and it should be this shape over here okay so i'm just going to show you how to key in calculator here so we have a plus minus square root negative three so we just um okay plus minus we, you, you if you forgot how to key this in you could just key in both but so meaning one is uh, square root 3x the other one is negative uh, square root 3x right so but oh sorry 3 negative x negative 3x okay great so you can key in this and uh, you get this oh wrongly here yeah. okay so you key in it will be this shape here but of course what we could do is actually uh, just key in plus minus by putting this syntax here one comma negative one so what the calculator does is it will just substitute one in and negative one then uh, with one graph as such we could actually draw the graph okay so this is the graph that we're looking at then ln x plus 1.5 just look at it ln ln x plus 1.5 Okay, that will be this graph here. So this graph, what we get is actually a log graph. But just remember, your GC does a very bad job at extending the and also identifying the asymptote. So what we could do is always just zoom to that region there. Okay, um, zoom box. I always tell my students to just zoom box to that region where uh, all things are happening. So this graph here. So just remember to add the vertical asymptote. All right. So this is a graph here that we're looking at. So just remember for the, the there's a vertical asymptote for the long graph here. The vertical asymptote is where x plus 1.5 goes zero. That will be x equals to negative 1.5. Right. So just draw this out. This will just be x equals to negative 1.5. And after which what we, we were told that is that to state the exact coordinates that they intersect with the uh so this guy will be when x is zero, ln just sub into this equation, it'll be y will be ln one point five, right? So y equals to ln zero plus one point five. That will be ln one point five. Okay. So I'm gonna just label this as y equals to ln one point five. Wait. Give the equation so to exact coordinates of point. So label all the coordinates. Oh, and also this guy here. Uh we need these coordinates here. So when y is zero. Um, we know that ln x plus 1.5 is equal to 0. Okay. Then x plus 1.5 e 0. So that is 1. So x is half actually. Um, negative half. Okay. So this guy will be negative half comma 0. Okay, you can actually check your answer. Your GC will tell you too. From here, uh, what you do is that's it. So we, we solve solved it. So hence solve this equation where we have uh, y square is this. Okay. Oh, actually it's, it's pretty okay. Well, we don't need it to be solved exactly. Okay. So this, you see that this is your y. Uh, let's say this is y2. This is y1. So this is y2 over here. Then the exact entire thing. This equation here is the intersection between them, right? So that's it. So uh, solving that will just be the intersection between them. So we're going to solve it. So obviously, if we were to sub uh, x one by x one point five into this equation, then we'll get this uh, stable equation. So we need to find these two points here, uh, meaning to say the x one here and the x two here. Okay, 
So they solve it. Uh, we don't need to solve it. Uh, they didn't ask us to find it. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, exactly. What we could do, we just could calculate. Then we just go um intersection point. So enter. Oh, chalat. Sorry. So second calculate intersection point. Then you just click in enter. Select the other line equation. If this one press enter, enter again. It will be negative zero point four six six. Okay, we just want this negative zero point four six six. So from GC, we know that this X1 here will be 0 0.0466, 3SF, leave it in 3SF. Then the other one, what we go is second calculate, then we just find intersect again. Select the red line, and after which you need to just solve the one below, press enter. Then just be negative 1.6, uh, negative 1.37. Oh. So this is how you solve the question here. Okay, if you have any questions at all, please do let us know and I'll see you in the next question.